Hey everybody, it's Alex at Motoroso.com and in this video we're taking a close-up look at Icon Vehicle Dynamics Stage 8 CDEV Electronically Damped Lift Kit for the new 6th generation Bronco. And the Cliff Notes version of this video is that we think this is the most complete and technologically advanced lift kit that is available for the new Bronco. Now there's four different variations of this kit. What you see in front of us here is just the coilover shocks and the IIC control unit for this system. But in this video, we're going to be diving into all the different components and the nuances between the four versions of this kit. And as usual, we're going to put links to all these products in the description of the video. And those links will take you over to Motoroso.com where you can shop with us. And please do, if you find this video helpful, buying from us is the only thing that's going to support us making videos like this. And we really do hope you find it helpful. Now there, you can also reach us on live chat or call us anytime toll free at 833 Motoroso. We love helping our customers with their build projects. Now there are a lot of different ways that you can lift a Bronco and we've made plenty of videos about those. Icon Vehicle Dynamics alone offers over 30 different options. We're not covering all of those options in this video either. In this video, we're just focusing on this top of the line stage eight system that comes with their CDEV electronically dampened shocks, as well as all the necessary control arms uh, to support the taller ride height, the longer wheel travel, and deliver that world-class suspension performance that you can throw all the punishment in the world at. Now the kit comes in four variations and the decisions you're going to need to make there is whether or not you want the kit with their tubular steel control arms or with their top of the line billet aluminum adjustable control arms. And then you're going to decide between standard rate springs or heavy rate springs in the rear. And we'll talk about those decisions a little bit later in the video. So let's start with what is most special about this kit. This kit features their CDEV shocks and their IIC unit, which is a proprietary technology that Icon has developed. CDEV stands for Compression Damping Electronic Valve and IIC stands for Icon Intelligent Control. And just like it sounds, these shocks feature the ability to make damping adjustments electronically that's controlled through the IIC unit by you with a Bluetooth app on an iOS device without having to get out of the vehicle, stop and make changes to the shocks manually, which is a huge advantage to your experience and fun factor out on the trail, letting the suspension manage itself rather than having to make manual adjustments. Now, if you're not familiar with what damping means, inside the shock body, there's valving that controls the speed at which the shock moves through its compression and rebound cycles. Now, a firm compression damping setting is going to essentially make the vehicle feel more stiff and firm and be less responsive to the small inputs in the road. But when it encounters a large hit, it's going to be able to absorb that without the shock bottoming out. On the other end of the spectrum, a soft compression damping setting is going to be more responsive to the trail and more supple and nice in rock crawling situations. Uh, but if it encounters a large hit, it's going to be more likely to blow through the stroke of the shock and bottom out. And then the rebound damping controls the speed at which the shock comes back. Now, this is very important because it matters what kind of terrain you're in to have the right setting on your shock to make sure that the vehicle feels and performs the way you want it to. Now, in traditional coilover shocks that have damping adjustments, it's usually only a compression damping setting like in Icon's CDC shocks or the offerings from Fox and King for the new Bronco. And that means that on the remote reservoir, there's a knob that you can make damping adjustments to and you'd need to make those adjustments on all four corners of the vehicle. And if you want to make changes on a long trip where the terrain is changing, you're going to be stopping, getting out, making your adjustments for a rock crawling section, and then you need to make the changes again for a high speed section. Of course, nobody does that. That's a real pain in the butt. So most people just put it in a middle setting that's going to be pretty good all around. So what makes the CDEV technology so awesome is that all those changes I just talked about can be made on the fly from a Bluetooth connected iOS app through the IIC unit. You can make changes to the suspension damping instantly while on the fly and on the move. And you have presets in the app like normal, towing or desert. And that's going to have preset settings that change the way the shock is going to react to the terrain. And you can fine tune that on a scale of one to 10 independently front and rear. In addition, you can also make your own custom preset that you can just have available at the touch of a button. So no more stopping and no more changing the settings manually on your remote reservoir clickers. All right, so some even more dorky details and something that really sets this technology apart from almost anything else in the industry. The IIC unit has an onboard six axis G-force meter. And what it's doing is gathering data a thousand times a second from all the inputs into the vehicle suspension, from cornering, acceleration, braking, everything all together. And it's able to make real 
real-time adjustments to the suspension damping in under 40 milliseconds. And what that means to you is that you're able to just put this thing in a setting and it's gonna be constantly making changes to the suspension, optimizing performance in all situations. Two other incredible ways that the IIC is able to leverage the data that it's gathering and make performance adjustments is it's gonna gather vertical axis and lateral axis data, and it's gonna provide G-boost and corner boost. So think of G-boost as all four corners of the vehicle are getting compressed very rapidly. Like let's say, for example, you managed to go off a jump and you're landing your Bronco, and everything is gonna get compressed very, very rapidly. Well, it's gonna be able to pick up that information and provide a boost to the compression damping to make sure that all four corners don't blow through their traffic and bottom the truck out. In addition, it's gonna measure forces during cornering, acceleration, and braking, and provide corner boost. So if you're turning hard right, it's gonna know that all the load's gonna to go to the left side of the vehicle, and it's gonna increase the compression damping on that inside corner, helping to level the vehicle out, stabilize it, and provide be the best performance you can get in the most extreme situations. So this is obviously an incredibly technologically advanced system that is very, it's just packed with features. Um, but it's not just some gimmick shock that features these things. These shocks start their life as Icon's CDC shocks, which is their top of the line high performance off-road shocks that have been developed, tested, and proven in extreme racing conditions. And then they've been adapted with the electronic solenoid that controls the damping through the IIC unit. And so you're gonna find the top of the line motorsports grade features in these shocks, like aluminum shock bodies that are gonna be both light and strong. Um, cold hardened chromoly steel shafts that can take all the punishment and resist pitting that'll wear out your seals too quickly. It's also a fully rebuildable shock like you might find on top level performance shocks. And if you're doing street driving, uh, you're gonna get 40 to 50,000 miles out of these shocks before they would even need to think about being res uh, reserviced. Um, but if your Bronco is going to live off road and do all of its miles off road in harsh conditions, every 10 to 15,000 miles, you might need to get these shocks off, send them into Icon and have them totally refreshed, but a fully serviceable shock is important because now you can make sure that this thing lasts and performs for the entire life of the vehicle. Now, in addition to that, to make sure they stay looking pretty, they're coated with a Cerakote ceramic coating that's gonna resist corrosion in even the harshest conditions. Now, one of the first things that came to my mind when I first heard about this system is I was worried that they were gonna be adding a lot of complexity and moving parts that could break out in the field, and I don't want that. And so that's obviously a concern. Um, so I called the Icon engineers and talked to them about how they built this system and really, again, Again, this is their motorsport grade level top of the line product. So all, anything that controls the damping, that's all proven. That doesn't go bad. The solenoid that's been mounted to the top is very, very simple. It's basically one tiny little moving part that isn't even mechanical, it's electrical. When a signal is sent to it, it rotates and it opens the valve or closes the valve as necessary. And so there's really no situation where this would fail other than if some sort of physical damage were to be caused to the solenoid. And that would be a pretty massive impact and probably something terrible has happened, so don't do that. Um, the other way that it might fail is if the wiring harness somehow gets severed. Let's say you run it in a way that it hits something, it gets severed and the signal doesn't go there. Well, easy fix, you just get a new harness, piece of cake. And then just as a note, if it does lose signal, what the shock's gonna do is it's gonna default to the firmest damping setting. It means you're gonna have a bumpy ride home, but the reason it does that is to protect your Bronco and your suspension uh, against any hits that it might take while you're limping the thing home. So my concerns about reliability have been put to rest. I think this thing's gonna perform perfectly for anybody that has it. They don't need to worry about all the moving parts. All right, now getting away from some of this amazing technology into more basic fundamental performance specifications, this is a lift kit. And so you're gonna be lifting somewhere between two and four inches, depending on which Bronco you're starting with. Now this gets a little confusing, but follow me on this. If you have a non-Sasquatch Bronco, that's your lift from this kit is gonna be between three and four inches from stock. Uh, and that doesn't include the height of the tires, it's just the suspension. If you're starting with a Sasquatch Bronco, that lift is two to three inches at the suspension. Now, when, whether you start with a Sasquatch or a non-Sasquatch Bronco, when you put this kit in, the end result is gonna be exactly the same and then pop your tires on. Now, the way that ride height is controlled is through the spring preload collar. By releasing this set screw and tightening the spring preload collar, you're gonna increase the spring preload and push the vehicle up higher in its lift or lower it back down uh, by doing the reverse. Now, Icon is going to supply you with um, measurements that you can check to see how much thread is showing so you know where you are related to their recommended specifications. And just a note, these will come out of the box somewhere in the middle uh, of their settings. Now, more 
more importantly, you're also going to see a dramatic increase in overall wheel travel. Combined with the longer stroke capability of these uh, coilover shocks and the upper control arm that comes in the kit, you're gonna be seeing an increase from eight inches of front wheel travel to 11.5 inches total. And in the rear, it's gonna go from 10 to 14 inches, which is a 40% increase in wheel travel. And that is game changing in any terrain off-road. With this kit, you can easily fit a 35 inch tire and at full ride height, you can fit a 37 inch tire. Although I will say that that's gonna require a little bit of cutting and trimming like any four inch lift kit on a Bronco. Um, and Icon Vehicle Dynamics does sell and recommends for 37 inch tires. If you haven't made any changes to the fenders or the fender liners, they have a, uh, a shaft collar that's gonna limit the up travel of the shock uh, by about a half of an inch, just to make sure that at full compression, the 37 inch tire doesn't make contact with your fenders or with your fender liners uh, and then rip them off on the trail, which would be a bad situation. So that's your choice of whether or not you want to use that travel limiter. If you're just driving on the street, probably going to be okay. If you're going to be wheeling it hard, you might want to do that. Or we can look into fender liner and aftermarket fender options that will give more clearance and feel free to reach out to us. We can help with evaluating those options. As I mentioned, four variations of this kit. And you're going to be deciding between tubular steel or billet aluminum control arms and whether you want standard or heavy rate springs. Now let's talk about the springs first. The standard springs are set up for a Bronco that you know is, is just being driven around mostly in normal trim with no major additional accessories added on to it. A few hundred pounds here and there, no big deal. The heavy rate spring kit is for our overlanders out there. They're gonna add 500 pounds or more of additional weight in or on their Bronco. And this is gonna help that uh, those rear springs are gonna support the additional weight, making sure that the vehicle doesn't sit down, squat in the rear with all that additional weight. It's gonna help it sit level, um, but if you're not going to have that additional weight in the Bronco, but you want to get that heavy rate rear spring for when you do load it, uh, we recommend you think twice, maybe even three times about that because when the vehicle is unloaded, it is going to be uh, quite stiff in the rear and it's going to sit high in the rear and look a little odd. So we recommend if you're not going to have gear in or on the Bronco most of the time in excess of 500 pounds, then we recommend probably just when you load the Bronco up, use your IIC app to add a little bit of compression damping in the rear or even add a little bit of spring preload through the spring preload collar but it's really nice for the overlanders out there you don't have to get shocks then pay somebody to swap the springs out they've pre-packaged that overlanding setup for you right out of the box now the bigger decision is whether or not you want billet aluminum or tubular steel control arms. Now both versions of the kit are gonna come with every possible upgrade to the control arms, much more robust than most other lift kits out there. That includes the front upper control arm. In the rear, you've got the lower trailing arm and the upper link to correct for the pinion angle. And then um, it also includes an adjustable track bar, which by the way is only available in tubular steel, even in the billet kit option. Now, of course, these kits also include all the necessary wiring for the IIC system, all the necessary mounting hardware, and then brackets for mounting the uh, remote reservoirs, putting them on display, and the IIC module. This is an incredibly robust kit that has everything you could possibly need. Now, the much bigger decision on this kit is whether or not you want the tubular steel control arms or the beautiful adjustable CNC billet machine aluminum control arms. Now, the steel control arms, they're gonna do the trick. This is a great product. They're, they're not as attractive or adjustable, but they're definitely gonna still do the job. They feature the same Delta Joint Pro that's gonna come in the aluminum uh, control arm. Um, that's gonna allow for that maximum articulation and additional travel that you can gain uh, from that. And it's gonna also feature um, polyurethane bushings. Now, that's the difference between the aluminum one because those will require a little bit of maintenance. We recommend greasing those along with your Delta Joint Pro. We recommend doing that roughly every oil change. Now they're also made out of DOM steel, which is a slightly better material than 4130 chromoly for noise vibration and harshness, just kind of smoothing out the ride. At the end of the day, basically the tubular steel control arms will do the trick, but if you want the top of the line offering, then you're gonna wanna check out the billet aluminum control arms. Now, because those are CNC machined out of aircraft grade 6061 aluminum, they're gonna be much, much lighter than steel components and that does matter in performance because it's unsprung weight now whether or not you're going to feel that difference eh, it's debatable but it does matter now of course they're beautiful too they look amazing they really reflect the kind of investment you're making in this cdev technology and it's okay to make styling decisions while you're also making performance decisions also on these aluminum arms, instead of using polyurethane bushings, they're using a steel heim spacer, which is maintenance free, just giving you one less thing to do. But it does have the Delta Joint Pro, so you're still gonna need to add a little bit of grease to that periodically. 
Now, lastly, but most importantly, these are adjustable on the upper control arm. And that really matters because your alignment technician is then going to be able to get your alignment exactly perfect, getting that camber and caster right so that you don't see premature tire wear. Tires are pretty expensive these days. So if you can get an extra couple hundred or a couple thousand miles out of a set of tires, that's real tangible cost savings. So long story short, the aluminum control arms are the higher performance, more premium offering in this kit. But if you need to save a few bucks, we don't blame you. We totally get it. Go with the tubular steel control arms so you can still enjoy the incredible advancements of this new CDEV technology. All right, with all that said, these are the exact CDEV shocks and IIC unit that I'm gonna be installing on my Bronco, but we're gonna be doing something very unique with my Bronco and a little bit different. Not to be morbid, but just subscribe to the channel to check out what we do there. But if this kit, as I said, the most technologically advanced and complete kit available for the sixth generation Bronco in its four variations, whether you want tubular steel control arms, aluminum control arms, standard or heavy rate springs, we're gonna put links to all four of those in the description of the video, and I'm a put a link to the standard uh, spring aluminum version right here. That'll take you over to motoroso.com. And if you found this video helpful, please consider shopping with us because that's what supports our business and us producing these videos and moving forward. If you don't like my face and you want us to go away, then just don't shop with us. Uh, you can also reach us there on live chat or call us toll free at 833 Motoroso anytime. We'd love to help you with your build. Now, if this kit seems like it's total overkill for you and it was interesting, but you're not going to buy it, but you want other suspension options, check out this video right right here. It's a pretty uh, thorough video about all the suspension options for the sixth generation Bronco. And then subscribe to our channel to check out all of our future releases. Thanks for watching.